Na 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 Hellboy. Na 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 na. Oh wait. Welcome to Drawing Conclusions. I'm Jessica. I'm Josh. And today we are reviewing Hellboy. The 2019 version. Let's make that clear. Right. Not, yeah. Not the old school one. No. Josh, uh, what you saw Hellboy without me actually, so. I did. Why don't you tell me uh, what you thought of this movie? Well, I'll start with the things I liked about it. Uh, there were some of the visuals that were pretty nice. Uh -huh. um, interesting designs, cool stuff like that. And uh, David Harbour actually, it wasn't bad. He was, mm. he was pretty good. Uh, and I was that about sums it up. <laughs> <laughs> I was skeptical about that because I have to say that when I saw the Hellboy trailer, um, one of the things that yeah. just really, I just was like, nope, that doesn't work for me, yeah. was the David Harbour's um, take, or take on, on, on Hellboy. I don't know, I'm just a Ron Perlman purist, is that it? I don't know. <laughs> it's just like... Well, it's hard to top that. <laughs> I just, uh, I mean, you know, obviously, like, my my entire, not obviously, but my entire exposure to Hellboy is through the movies with Ron Perlman. And the, Directed by Guillermo del Toro. Right. And so, to me, it's like, he is Hellboy, you know? And so, seeing somebody else in that role, it just felt really weird. But you thought that David Harbour did a good job? Yeah, he was good. I mean, look, he's not going to make me forget about Ron Perlman's performances, but... It's not to say that he was terrible or anything like that. Uh, even the story at times I thought was interesting. Um, yeah. And I, I did, for the most part, like the direction that it was going. Uh, and now the things I didn't like, which will go to the story. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> or, actually, in the matter of, like the way they handled the story. This movie suffered from, like it seems like a trend coming up now, a lot of expositional flashbacks. The story would gain momentum. And start to go somewhere, and then like a new character gets introduced, rather than like the audience discovering who they are based on like conversation, actions, whatever. We get a flashback that just grinds everything to a halt. Mm. It's like, oh, now I got to take in this new information rather than figure it out. Yeah. You know, and so it's just that that kind of storytelling I, I personally don't care for. But if it's done right, then I can, you know, I overlook it or, and, and can't even like it. But, like, lately I just have seen a lot of movies do that, and I just, I don't like it. It's, yeah, uh, you didn't feel like they handled it particularly well in this case? No, I, I didn't care for the, um, you know, like I said, I like David Harbour's performance as Hellboy. I thought he was pretty good. I did not like the, the way they made Hellboy look, though. The makeup and prosthetic, his, uh, you know, his giant hand. Right. I thought it looked ridiculous. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Well, just having, again, just seeing the trailer and seeing photos and stuff from it, it seems super fake. It looked, I mean, it, which I mean it is, but... Yeah, right. But it, but it looked so fake. It, it couldn't convince you that it was real. looked more fake, certainly, than the older movies to me. Yeah. Not just, like, his his big, you know, hand, but his big arm or whatever, but, but like, the chest. Yeah, uh, the, the molding. You know, torso chest, yeah. area and everything just looked... It looked like he was wearing something. It didn't look yeah. like it was part of, you know... It didn't look like an actual person. character, right. right. No, I, I agree with that. Um, other performances were pretty good, though. Ian McShane, I thought he was good. Mila Jovovich was, was good, too. But, you know, I mean, it's just... Nice performances couldn't really save this thing. I think, like I said, some of the designs I thought were pretty cool. Some of the visual effects I thought were a, a little dated, I mm. thought. Some of them, especially, like, when... Uh, with Daniel Day Kim's character, I mean, mm. won't go into all of that, but some of the things that he does, I was like, wow, that looks really like early 2000s. <laughs> Just yeah. Not handled well, not like poorly lit, and the the rendering wasn't great. But then again, there were some parts with that did look pretty awesome. But yeah. it was it was really kind of a mixed bag, hit and miss kind of thing. Um. A little too violent for me. I mean, to the point of just like splatterfest violent, like unnecessarily and like gratuitously violent, which at times, like, admittedly, was kind of funny, but just it was like bordering on ridiculous. Yeah. It was so goofy. 
and just over the top like oh man let's see how far we can push this with the blood and gore and just uh, heaps and heaps of gore yeah so I, I don't you know they didn't do themselves any favors with that they wanted to go for the hard R rating and boy golly they achieved that <laughs> but uh <laughs> And that's not to say that I'm like someone who doesn't watch rated R movies, because sometimes I do, and I've watched some that are pretty violent, and uh, even a bit gory, but it's like, there it just gets a point where it's just like, okay, come on. Now you're just overdoing it, and I think this one was just overdoing it, it didn't really serve the story, it was just right. to try to shock the audience. And well, that's the thing, it's like, you know, I mean, ratings aside, you know, anything that you put into a movie should have a purpose beyond, you know, um, just trying to shock people or be gross or, or you know, like, yeah. it should serve the story, the characters, the the themes, whatever that you're trying to, you know, um, portray in some way. Yeah. You know, and did you, you just didn't feel like it did that to no. that level? No, I think they were going for over the top and, you know, from the get-go they were getting over the top. Um... I didn't like the way Hellboy's origin, because this is a reboot, I didn't like the way they handled this origin story explanation. It, it's essentially the same as the original films. It's just told in flashbacks. Right. Rather than a starting off point, which is, you know, I guess they wanted to do something different to distinguish themselves from the original, and I guess they did. <laughs> I don't think it was terribly effective. Hmm. So. Anything else? Uh that I didn't like about the show? Just in general. Or just yeah. in general about yeah. the show? Not really. I think I covered everything. You know, there was some good parts, even some parts that were kind of funny. But I think a lot of it just kind of fell flat and just was really not great and not handled terribly well. So overall, what rating would you give Hellboy? Oh, maybe a two. Like, if you're a diehard fan of Hellboy, you might like this show. Or if you're a diehard ham fan of Hellboy, you might hate this show. <laughs> it just depends. Um, I certainly, I still enjoy the Ron Perlman, Guillermo del Toro ones. I think those are really nicely told, visually wonderful stories. And some great performances. Ron Perlman isn't the only one who had great performances in those shows. Yeah. And this one has none of that. So yeah, definitely a, a two horns out of possible five horns. <laughs> Even though he only has two horns. But... <laughs> Like, it'd be really very weird if you had five. It would. <laughs> so, like Josh. Darth Maul. <laughs> <laughs> Josh, why don't you tell us a little bit about uh, this picture? Oh, well, once again, using uh, pastels on pastel paper. I like the uh, texture of the paper. I think it adds kind of a, a different kind of life to drawings and gives it this, this look and feel. I think you can almost, like, you know, as a viewer, reach in there and, and touch it and, and just feel the texture of the bumps in the paper and stuff yeah um and i just i wanted to like really kind of focus on the uh the crown when he's like in his full-on demon self i always thought like again that was like some of the things in the visual department that they did right in this show was uh him as the having his vision as the full-on demon which they did in the other film so not much of a spoiler there sorry for that <laughs> <laughs> anyway but i thought that was really cool looking and one of the cooler moments of the uh, of the show, but was very short in its duration, which is okay. But okay. It, it had a really cool uh, visual aesthetic and a really cool styling. Okay. So that's okay. what I did, and I, I really like the way that um, pastels handle light and dark and transition. And I think it's a really effective uh, medium to do those kinds of things. Yeah. All right. Well, great. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yes, great. <laughs> I don't know why I said it like that. <laughs> yes, great. Whatever, dummy. <laughs> but really, that was good. I don't know why I said it like that. Anyway. Your snark is not appreciated. <laughs> so that's it for this episode of Dry Conclusions. Uh, Josh, what should they do now? Well, if you enjoyed this video, you should like this video. Or even dislike. I don't mm. care. I prefer you like it though. Uh, <laughs> subscribe if you haven't already. Um, share it with your friends. All the support we get uh, from you out there in the audience land is greatly appreciated. Yeah. And comment. We like to hear from you. Which Hellboy version did you, uh, you know, most like? Comic books, movies, whatever. Ah, 
Also, check us out on Patreon. Yes. And so the support there really does go to help this channel with art supplies and uh, things like that. Yeah. All right. That's it. Thanks.